Uh, what's up guys? Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick update on my Ghost Trick deck because I did change up some cards since last deck profile I did. So I'm gonna go by monster level first, so level 3's. I have one Ghost Trick Ghoul. Uh, I I now added a Mummy. I think I didn't have that last time, not really sure. Uh, really good card because his effect is that, say, I, I have another Ghost Trick on the field so I get normal summon him face up. So then I can, his ability lets me special summon a second ghost trick monster from my hand. So yeah, that's a really good effect. So it lets you add another monster to the field. Uh, and if it's level 3, you can overlay for alley card, so it's a really good one. Uh, go, one ghost trick yeti. I think I was running it at 2, not really sure. Now I'm running it at 1. Uh, for And then searchers, I have 3 level 3, uh, 3 dang she's. Uh... I'm running Triple Stein. Good card for to get uh, your magic and trap cards out from your field, from your deck. If you if it does damage to your opponent's life points, it's a really handy card. Now for level twos, when Yukiona, if she gets destroyed by battle, the monster that destroyed her gets flipped face down defense position and can't not be flipped face up. So it's a really good card, and it's gonna be good if you have more level two cards because uh, they're coming out with these. Uh, with the uh, next month, they're coming out with the uh, new uh, support for Ghost Trick deck, new X Y Z monsters, Ghost Trick Doll and Ghost Trick Re Ghost Trick Re Werewolf. It's a really good card, <clears throat> and hopefully, I'll get that when it comes out. Uh, Double Witch, good card. It's like a Book of Moon, so nice card to have, especially in a deck like this. Uh, I'm now only running one Jack Frost. Good card if your opponent. Declares a direct attack, and negates the attack, and I think, and it flips it face down, and he's special summoned to the field, so it's a really good card to have. Uh, I'm running now one lantern. I'm still waiting on getting two more. I have oh now for level ones, my bad. I now have uh, two Marys, a good card because if if you get inflicted by damage points to your to your life points, ugh, my bad. If you lose life points, any amount. Uh, you can discard it from your hand and special summon one ghost trick monster one ghost trick monster in face down defense position. So you'll probably want to go for like the ghost trick Yangshi because once you flipped up you can now search for another monster, so it's a really good card to have. I'm running it at two, uh but I'm still thinking about getting a third one, so yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh now I have triple ghost trick specter. Good card because if one of your ghost trick monster gets destroyed you key special summon to the field and face down defense position and it lets you draw one card so it's a really good card to have and for our final monster I have one magician of faith uh, to get your spell cards back that's a total of 20 uh, yeah 20 monsters <clears throat> and now moving on to spell cards I have the triple ghost trick mansion and now I'm running one ghost trick museum it's a pretty good card because it has the same effect except uh, the attack of your opponent doesn't get halved to your life points so if instead it flips it face down if it attacks if it declares an attack so it's a pretty good card to have uh, one book of life one book of moon and I'm now only having one nobleman of cross out and I added a nobleman of extermination to destroy trap cards it's a good card because if it's a trap card and your opponent has more than the same more than one say he has a mirror force and he's he's running it at two you can destroy it and he has to remove the other one from play so both of them get removed from play so it's a really good card to have in this deck uh one ghost trick oh, oh my bad <laughs> one swords of contained light one allure of darkness to get the draws that's a total of 10 spell cards and now moving on to traps the triple ghost trick scare uh Double Ghost Trick Vanish, Double Ghost Trick Go Around. I added Needle Ceiling. I, I'm at two, and the new card that came out in the Gold series, uh, Ghost of a Grudge. That's a really, really good card to have in this deck because it makes your opponent's monsters go to down to zero. And since it doesn't say at the end of the at the end of the battle phase or or phase whatever, the mon your opponent's monsters have to stay at zero. So here, let me see if it focuses. Yeah. 
the punch monster have to stay at zero, so it's a really good card to have. Say he brings out like a really strong monster. Uh, they can't, and you activate that card, so it's really good. They go down to zero. And moving on to my XYZs, I now got one Ghost Trick LEU card. I'm still at double Ghost Trick Duohan and one number 39 Utopia Roots. So, yeah. And moving on to my side deck, I'm running the triple. I have triple Call of 100, one Noble Man Crossout, one Ghost Trick Nico Mouse, one Skeleton, and another Mummy. So, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And, and see you guys later.